Hi everyone, it's Katrina. From squirrels with major hibernation to beetles producing antifreeze proteins, here are 10 animals that can freeze and come back to life. Number 10. Arctic Ground Squirrel Arctic ground squirrels are native to regions in northern Canada, Alaska, and Siberia, where they live on the mountain slopes, shores, and river flats of the tundra. It's such an unforgiving environment that the squirrels have developed unique adaptations to survive, one of which is their ability to hibernate in sub-zero conditions. Every winter they dig deep into their underground burrows and will stay there for as long as eight months. Winter is long sometimes. During this time, their body temperature will fall to around 27 degrees Fahrenheit, the lowest to have ever been measured in a mammal. In this hibernation state, or torpor, their major organs slow down so much that they appear to be dead. Their bodily fluids are supercooled, which prevents them from freezing, and the squirrels will wake once every three weeks or so, which is thought to be a way to ensure that their brain survives. Still, it's risky business because many Arctic squirrels don't survive this extreme state, but those that do will take less than a day to get back to normal once the weather has warmed and will begin mating straight away. You know how it goes. Number 9. Red Flat Bark Beetle Red Flat Bark Beetles are a species of beetle found exclusively in the Arctic regions of Canada and Alaska. Small insects have two choices when the harsh winters close in either give in to the cold or get through it by either tolerating the ice or filling their bodies with antifreeze compounds. It was long thought that the red flat bark beetles did the latter, where they lose as much as 40% of their body water and replace it with the antifreeze proteins to prevent ice from forming, which would otherwise destroy their cells. A recent study, though, has shown that the larvae can survive temperatures well below freezing and suggests that they may use another process called vitrification, where the supercooled bodily fluids turn into a viscous, glass-like substance to prevent freezing. Experiments showed that they actually produce antifreeze proteins to protect them as low as minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit. They then dehydrate, which protects them to minus 40 degrees. And then the vitrification kicks in that can protect them to temperatures as low as a chilly minus 238 degrees. The lowest temperature recorded on Earth was minus 129 degrees Fahrenheit, recorded in Antarctica in 1983. So they are all set no matter how cold it gets. Number 8. Painted Turtles Different species of turtles deal with cold temperatures in their own way, but the painted turtles are undoubtedly the hardiest of them all. They live across North America in ponds and slow-moving freshwater and have to be prepared for ice sheets to cover them with nowhere to go. Luckily for the painted turtles, they have a number of tricks to help them survive. The hatchlings are usually born in the fall and bury themselves in the nest underground during the winter. They are able to supercool, which means their fluids don't freeze, and stay at temperatures of around 28 degrees Fahrenheit for three days. Under certain circumstances, they can withstand lower temperatures for much longer. They're able to recover quickly once they warm up, but this process isn't always reliable. If they are in moist soil, for example, the supercooling process might fail, but painted turtles can still come back to life even if they've completely frozen, as long as it hasn't happened for too long. In the water, painted turtles are able to absorb oxygen through their skin, mouth, and other places, and can survive for months in a low or no oxygen environment. To allow this, their metabolism can drop by as much as 99%, so they don't need food or very much oxygen, and would appear to be dead. Their bodies are able to take nutrients from their shells and skeletons to supplement their needs during this time, something that can be replaced once things have warmed up. Surprisingly, painted turtles need it to be cold for these processes to work. If they're trapped underwater in warm temperatures, their metabolism cannot slow down, and they'll soon drown. And now for number 7. But first, can you guess the record for how long a critter has remained frozen before coming back to life? Leave your guess in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already! Number 7. European Crucian Carp each winter, as the lakes of northern Europe freeze over, the European Crucian carps get trapped in the water beneath. At first, it seems that once the ice thaws, the fish continue on with their lives as normal, but things are more complicated here than they look. The fish are able to stay alive during this time by relying on the glycogen that's been stored in their bodies in a process called glycolysis that transforms it into ethanol. 
their hearts can continue to function without oxygen and provide ethanol across their gills to prevent them from becoming intoxicated. Not every part of the fish is so impervious to the lack of oxygen caused by frozen environments, though, in particular, the brain. Experiments have shown that while there's no noticeable damage to the brain during the winter, there's a drastic increase in the death of brain cells when they are initially exposed to oxygen levels again. This affects the fish's ability to perform tasks and rely on its memory, but fortunately this brain damage is only temporary. European carps are able to produce more cells and heal the affected regions, meaning that they're back to normal functioning within a short period of time. Unsurprisingly, scientists are very interested in understanding this process more because it could give clues on how to enable human brains to more effectively heal or withstand oxygen-poor environments for longer. Number 6. Arctic Woolly Bear Caterpillar While Arctic Woolly Bear moths have similar lives to other moths, their caterpillars are an entirely different story. They live in the far north of the Arctic across Canada and Greenland, where they are exposed to freezing temperatures for most of the year. The caterpillars take around seven years to collect enough nutrients to be able to transform into a moth. So they need the ability to withstand the cold to be able to do this. They actually spend most of the time at too low a temperature to be able to even move. They require it to be at least 59 degrees Fahrenheit to move around and feed, something they are only able to attain by basking in the sunlight all day, hoping that the sun's rays will provide enough warmth. Arctic woolly caterpillars freeze and thaw at least seven times in their lives, and they hide within rock crevices surrounded by a light silk structure known as a hibernaculum that provides just enough protection. Their covering of hairs helps to retain any heat they are able to absorb, and may produce cryoprotectant in their blood and tissues that allows them to survive after being exposed to temperatures as low as minus 94 degrees Fahrenheit. Number 5. Iguanas We usually associate iguanas with warmer weather, but as cold-blooded animals, they're also very capable of dealing with colder temperatures. When it gets colder than minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit, their bodies freeze and they become immobilized. This causes unusual situations where, if the unfortunate iguana is in a tree at the time, it simply falls to the ground, seemingly dead. This happens a lot in places like Florida, where there are lots of iguanas and, occasionally, temperatures can plunge. They aren't dead, though, and once things warm up, their blood returns to normal and they come back to life. Upon reawakening, they can be quite angry and annoyed, so if you ever see an iguana popsicle on the ground, it's best to just leave it alone, and whatever you do, don't give it a burial. Number 4. Upis Beetles Upis beetles live in the same regions as the red flat bark beetles, but have developed an entirely different way of enduring freezing temperatures to ensure that they'll still be alive for the thaw that comes in springtime. They are a larger species and don't produce any antifreeze proteins to survive. Instead, they produce a sugar-based antifreeze called xylomannan, which attaches itself to the outer cell membranes and physically prevents ice from entering the cell or forming within it. This allows the beetles to withstand temperatures of minus 76 degrees Fahrenheit without freezing and be ready for when things warm up to get back to their lives. Number 3. Alligators Alligators can be found in watery regions around the world, but have to return to the surface periodically to breathe air to survive. This can prove to be difficult when temperatures plummet, though, because the ice that forms on top of lakes and rivers creates a physical barrier that prevents alligators from being able to breathe. Well, that's what would happen if they hadn't developed a unique way of solving the problem. They allow the ice to form around their nose while the rest of their body remains under the water. If you're ever passing a frozen lake where you know alligators live, take a look and see if you can see any snouts sticking out above the ice. This, of course, forces the alligator to stay in place, essentially being frozen beneath the ice and unable to move until the temperatures warm. As cold-blooded animals, the cold temperatures mean they have very little energy anyway, so they're more than happy to stay still until the heat returns. Number 2. Tardigrades Tardigrades are one of the hardiest types of creature on the planet, and cold temperatures seem to pose no problem to them whatsoever. Also known as water bears, they are water-dwelling organisms that measure up to 1 25th of an inch long, and they are known for their ability to survive deep depths and even the vacuum of space. In the cold, they enter a state of cryptobiosis, where all of their metabolic processes shut down and they show no signs of life. 
In 2016, a team of Japanese scientists announced that they had brought two tardigrades back to life after having been frozen for 30 years. While one of them died, another survived and was even able to mate with another and create offspring, proving that the species can survive prolonged periods of freezing and keep going on despite some damage to their DNA. Still, this doesn't mean they can survive the longest of all animals in the cold, because the record holder for the amount of time frozen is much more than 30 years. Which brings me to… Number 1. Nematodes Nematodes are tiny worms, no longer than 1 mm, and have been seen to make wild adaptations depending on the environment they're in. They can develop a different mouth to adapt to the food that's available. Some have adapted to high temperatures, and they are the deepest multicellular organism to have ever been found. And some have even adapted to be able to live inside the intestines of slugs. A study in 2018 looked at 300 samples of Siberian permafrost, and two of them were found to contain nematodes. These females had been frozen in the ice for up to 32,000 years and miraculously came back to life after being warmed up. They were able to move and eat in what was the first known proof of natural cryopreservation and the longest known case of a multicellular animal being frozen and coming back to life. Surprise! Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you soon.